Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at adding interactive elements to Slider Revolution 5. We're going to take a look at how we can stack different actions on top of each other to create quite an interactive slider that's going to give you the good basis for getting an understanding of exactly how interactivity works with Slider Revolution 5. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that now. So the first thing we're going to do is create our basic slider. So we'll click create a new slider. And then we'll simply just give that a name and we'll call this interactive. And the same for the alias. And we're going to set this particular example to be a hero scene and I want it to be full width. Once we've done that, We'll just hit the save and that'll switch us over to the slide editor. We can start creating our hero scene. So to start off with, we're just going to set the background image and we'll just choose a nice large image for our hero scene. This one will do. And we'll click to insert that. So we've now got our basic scene set up. We can now start adding some of the additional elements. So we're going to start off by adding just some text. And we'll just put some text in there. There we go, and we'll just OK that, and we'll simply position that on screen where we want, and we'll just style that quickly. So we'll just come into the advanced styles, we'll set the font to be, we'll go for open sans condensed, we'll set a decent size on that, we'll set it to something like 75 pixels, and we'll just come in and we'll just quickly set the background color to be yeah, black is fine. We'll set transparency of 0.8. And we'll set a nice chunky border in there of 30 pixels on each side. Just so we've got something that stands out. There we go. So there's our first element. So now we're going to add the second element, which is going to be our interactive item. And what we're going to do is we're going to set an arrow just below this animated text that's going to allow us to click on it to quickly scroll down to the bottom of this slider right to the beginning of our content on the page. So, so for this example, I'm just going to use another text item, but we're going to put a shape in there. But you can use any of the options we have available. You can use text, you can use an image, video, and so on. You can add interactivity to almost everything. So I'm going to say I want to add text, and we're going to get rid of what's in there, and I'm simply going to choose the option to insert an icon. So we'll use the font awesome icons and we'll just use this down arrow. Next thing I'm going to do is just confirm that. And then we'll just make that slightly larger at the moment. So you 20 pixels. So let's make that something like we got a hundred. So a nice big arrow on there. And then we'll position that below and we'll just align that to the center. So we now have the element we're going to use to be our interactive element. So let's add the interactive options to that. And that's done quite easily through the action section. So if we expand that, you'll see it gives us just a simple icon of just a plus. And what that allows us to do is just choose what actions and what triggers we want to use. And we can quickly and easily stack different actions on top of each other to create quite interactive elements. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to set two different options to it. So if I expand that, the first thing we got is what's the trigger? And we have three options available. So when we click it, when the mouse enters the particular object, or when it leaves it. And then we've got the actual action itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to specify the click action. So we'll leave click as the option. We'll just choose, scroll down, scroll below slider. So what's going to happen is when we click the arrow, it's going to scroll us down past the large slider we've got set up, the hero scene, to the top of the content below. So it just makes it a nice way of interacting with the actual page itself, but you're not limited to only work in that way. So we set the action, we've set what we're going to have it to do, and the second thing we're going to do is we're going to specify that this becomes a typical link action. In other words, with the way it's set up at the moment, all that will happen is if someone clicks on it, it'll scroll down, but they won't know it's a clickable item because it doesn't change from the arrow to the normal finger point that we have when we take the mouse over a link. So let's set that up now. We'll simply just choose mouse enter. So when the mouse enters that object, something's going to happen and we're going to have a simple link. We're going to specify the link is just what's called a null link and we just use the hash symbol for that. 
And what we do, and this is the important part, where it says link type, we have two options available to us. We can use a jQuery link or we can use an A tag link. Now, an A tag link is the typical A tag you use in HTML code, and that's what's going to give us the ability to have this change to the mouse pointer with the finger. So let's just choose that. So we've now got both the elements we want. So we hit save on that. All we need to do then is go over to our sample page and we can take a look at exactly what this looks like. So if we just refresh the page, we'll see the basic animation we have set up on there. And there we go. There's our elements. So now if we take our mouse over the arrow, you can see it changes to the mouse pointer with the finger. So we now know that's a link. So if I click on that, we now scroll down to the actual top of our content. So you can see it's very quick and easy to create these different interactive elements. If we switch back into Slider Revolution, and we just choose the object again, and we'll just switch over to the Actions panel, you can see that we have a whole range of just things we can do on there. If we wanted to, we could quite easily set up video play options. So if we had a video on screen, we could choose to pause it, stop it, and start. We could mute it, unmute it. A lot of different things we can do on there. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's given you a good idea of what you can achieve with simple interactive actions within Slider Revolution 5. I hope you see how easy it is to build those up and stack them on top of each other to create quite a complicated multi-action sort of uh, interactive layout. If you have found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this or any other content on our channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We read everything you post and we try to answer every question that's left. Well, until next time, take care.